you've been warned. Do not play this record after midnight. Great finds. I got another stack of albums out of someone's basement. And I'm telling you right now, we thought these were extinct. Albums were extinct. They're not extinct. They're still making albums today. They sold more albums, LPs, vinyls, last month than they have in the last 30 years. The old ones, it's fun to find the old ones. You used to have to go to just record stores, old record stores and thrift shops to find them. Now you can find them at Target, Walmart, wherever you have them. But this is this came in also as, this is Meat Loaf's Bad Out of Hell. This is like the third best-selling album of all time. Of all time. Meat Loaf's album, Bad Out of Hell. Cool cover. These guys I'm not as familiar with, but the covers, the covers were better then. The covers are awesome. I don't know what's going on here. The hair is fantastic. I, there's a knife. There's something happening. Something happening here. This is pure 80s. If you were around during the 80s, you knew who Night Ranger was. They're not really one-hit wonders. There's almost like a one-album wonder. I'm sure they had more, but they're known for, of course, three or four songs off, off their first album. They are still touring today. This album's in great shape. This is actually a single album. This is Out of Touch. It's dub version. This is Hall & Oates. They are also still around. You would recognize Hall's, uh, Daryl Hall's voice and have no idea what he sounds like. Hall & Oates. They are still around, Hall & Oates. I don't know if he actually ever sang a song, but hey, they stayed together. They are still around. Of course, there's Bobby Brown. This is when he got out a new edition. He looks great there. This is... I mean, you look that good. That's how you marry Whitney. And this is his out. Don't be cruel. Isn't that ironic? Now, Def Leppard. Def Leppard, um, they released their first album the same time that Michael Jackson released Thriller. And they were number two along that. I, it, you have to wonder how big they would have be, become if the greatest selling album of all time didn't come out at the same time. They are British. They are a rock band. They're not... They're, Semi hair band. They they were very popular. They're still popular today, and that is in great shape as well. Def Leppard, British. Now these guys, the Wretched Boys. You see what they did there? Anytime you have an umlaut, that's a cool band. Now I'm not familiar with them, but I would like when you redo the pictures. You know, you go back. I would like this picture. If we can find these guys and get them to do this picture again, because that. Nothing screams 80s like that. This is Ario Speedwagon, more 70s and 80s. And they they had a sense of humor, of course, because you can tune a piano, of course, but you can't tune a fish. There's a fish. There's a tuning fork. We get it. That's funny. They're a little more well-dressed. You know, I love, I don't know if that's a ascot or a long tie, but it's a good-looking bunch of guys. This is Dicks. Now, this album's pretty cool if you can find it because I'll show you in a second. I've taken this album out, and this album on this side, of course, tells sticks, and it tells you what's on side, both sides. Usually, it'll tell you, but that's because on the back, they have, I'm going to come into the light here. If you can see here, you can see the different designs embedded in the vinyl there, and of course, at the stop, top, it has the name of the band. It's just a cool album. Things that they did back then. There's colored albums. There's picture albums, which there are a few in here. The Lion King, that's an actual album. It'll look cool spinning around. And then some of the kids meet the Berenstein Bears. Also a picture album. Very cool. Of course, the Care Bears. Everyone loves the Care Bears. It's a cool we lost Eddie Van Halen this year, and this is probably their breakout album, Diver Down. You know, featured Pretty Woman. Costs $7.49, which, you know, you had to put out a little money back then. And that's when they had David Lee Roth. Um, today, looking at that crowd, just amazing that they could sell out crowds and so many people would go stand there for hours. Probably barely be able to see them, but... That is Van Halen. And anyone who was cool had Van Halen and probably knew how to draw that. Last one I have is Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, probably one of the best known singers in the world. His hits are 
there's just rows and rows and rows of hits. You'd be hard pressed to find someone who doesn't know at least one Stevie Wonder song or at least familiar with the song, even if they don't know Stevie sings it. He is out of Detroit, Michigan. He was a he was a star even as a child. Little Stevie Wonder. He's played the harmonica. I'm sure he still does. Stevie is still with us, thank goodness. And this is a a compilation album. It's a limited edition three record set, and it's. I don't know if that was the best title uh, for Stevie Wonder. Everyone loves Stevie. Everyone should love Stevie. If you don't know Stevie, go out and get one or two or three of his albums, and you'll find something you like. Now, we thought records were extinct, but they're not. You can still go to a regular store now. They used to be extinct. You can go to Walmart or Target, and you can find albums, and you can't find CDs. This, of course, is a brand new album. It's it's they're on a hunt. They're thicker albums than the old ones. The old ones were pretty thin. These are 180 gram. This is pretty sweet because this is this is a colored vinyl. It's a blue. Looks great on there. It's Marilyn Manson, Omega. I'm not gonna comment on his outfit because it obviously speaks for itself. Um, and the fingernails are interesting. So you could go and find this right now. In a record, not only a record store, but a retail store. And this is this is the Doors. Doors have been around for like 50 years. 50 years. But they're coming out with new vinyl. It's a premium vinyl pressing. It's 180 gram. That's how much it weighs. And, of course, the hits with the Doors. So the old ones are good. The new ones are good. It's great to listen to albums. They sound different. They're just cooler. You can't fast forward. You have to learn how to put the needle down. But it's worth it. And here's Adele. Even current artists like Marilyn Manson and Adele. And 119. You can see the different albums. Anyway, albums are, aren't extinct. Cassettes are going to be hard to find. CDs are even hard to find. But they're on their way back because they're cool. They're awesome. And they are pretty interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go get some albums. Find some old ones. If you can't, you can find some new ones at the new store. Um... I appreciate everyone. We just hit 800 subscribers, which is pretty exciting for us. And if you would, like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching. <laughs>